Yeah, welcome to our office. We are happy to receive you, sir. Our work is to take the energy from the point of generation to the point of transmission. Meaning, uh, we take the bulk supply from where it is generated to the place where the distribution companies will distribute. Uh, in Niger State, we, I can clearly tell you our own point of interface. Currently, our point of interface, and my colleagues can correct me if I make a mistake. Uh, one, we have an interface in MENA. We have a transmission substation in MENA. We have an interface in Shiroro. We have an interface in uh, Tagina. We have an interface in Tanquantagora. We have an interface in, uh, I think Jabba is part of... Uh, Huh? Jabba. We have interface in Jabba. We have a 330 KV, 132 KV substation in Kayanji. We have a interface a substation, that's 132 in Bida. We have a 132 substation in uh, Suleja. And we are also planning to build a 132 KV substation in Lambata because we believe that there's a lot of uh, 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 expansion around that side and we feel that uh, we should have a substation there. So these are the interfaces where we have a, a substation in, uh, in Niger State. So we have done substantial upgrading and rehabilitation. And some of the rehabilitation that we did that are in Niger State, uh, one, we did rehabilitate I mean, a substation, we put new breakers, and we rehabilitated the switchyard, which was financed by the World Bank. That job has been completed. We have also upgraded the BIDA substation. I think BIDA used to be 30 MVA. But what is the capacity of BIDA? I think it's about 30 MVA. We have installed 60 MVA there in BIDA, and we have completed it and commissioned it. Uh, it's the official commissioning that we are likely going to discuss with you today when we can do it. Then we have also uh, upgraded the Suleja substation. Uh, the Suleja substation used to be 2 by 30 MVA. Uh, we've removed uh, the 30 MVAs and we have installed 60 MVAs. So we have 2 by 60 MVA that have been installed in Suleja, completed, and is being used right now. It's being used. Uh, so uh, these are what we did in the last one year that we are here. Then we have also uh, come up under the plan of the transmission rehabilitation and expansion program. We are going to reconduct and uh, reconduct the, the line from 132 line from Suleja, um, from Shiroro to Suleja to, to Abuja. We are also putting some sky wires and changing some of the equipment. We are also uh, 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 we are also going to upgrade the line between Kaduna and uh, Shiroro, but we are putting 132 KV substation in uh, Suleja. I know you have asked several questions that uh, we collected land from you, but we have not uh, put anything there. So I think what we are doing is actually the fastest, 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 uh, I can say, preparation of project that has ever happened in the history of power sector, what we are doing. Because there is no time that we prepare a project in the power sector in one year. But this year project now is at the final stage of completion. We have completed the project. We have done the scoping. The financier, which is AFD requested for validation consultant, we have hired and they have already submitted the report. We have hired the consultant that did the environmental impact assessment. I think their report will be ready in the next one or two weeks. And this project will go to the board of AFD before the end of this year. But we are going to agree today with them in the next mission on advanced procurement. So very soon you will see advert for that project. I advertise, yes. But I want to tell you, sir, is that when uh, the decision, when we we took the decision to install that uh, 60 MVA, uh, the sorry, 132 KV substation in, Sule, in uh, Lambata, it was informed by our system planning department. This is the system planning. They are the one that do study to inform that this place have a lot of population. We need to expand the capacity. So the felt that uh, Sule is Lambata need to have a substation, so they came up with the plan. So I want to use this medium, medium to ask our colleague to thank the Deputy Governor for all the support he has given us, because he is the one that is instrumental to us getting the land that we are putting the 
132 KV substation in uh, Lambata. So thank you, sir. So now I will hand over to you. I listen to you. Uh, I've seen your letter, but uh, I will now comment. I will listen to you, sir. So you're welcome, sir. Thank you very much. Our major challenges is that people up to this moment don't know the difference between the state government the, and federal government in terms of some of this infrastructure. Number two, Nepal, 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 they don't know what is ADC, they don't know what is TCN, they don't know. All what they know is the state government. Government is not giving them power. Unfortunately for us, having mentioned that we have almost about three hydro uh, power and even four, four twice under construction, people thought that Niger State would be a state where you cannot even have even one second blackout. But unfortunately for us, the reverse is the case. But we believe that this is a, a kind of a teamwork that he's supposed to put ourselves together to make sure we provide some of this thing to our people. But unfortunately, like if you look at the letter we wrote, most of the places in Niger State, we don't have like particular these areas where we wrote this letter. Like Mokwa, we provided the 7.5 MVA, remaining the, the panel. So we have some of this problem across the state. But when we start down, we now say, okay, if TCN, part of their responsibility, why can't we meet? Because it's as if maybe you may not aware of some of these issues. Like from that Zungeru, we have that challenges. We have challenges in Mokwa. Like Mokwa, I came from Mokwa local government. But unfortunately for me, it's not like before I can go to Mokwa, the questions are always being asked. Well, how comes we don't have light? And we, we decided as a state, there are some certain things that we have provided. Not because we really want to, but because we don't want our people to keep us asking questions. We know the procedure. When, if you have tender a request like this, it may pass through so many procedures before it can be given to us. But we as a state, even the very time when they called me upon the issue of land, in this of nature, that very day we get, after we got the land, they approved it that day, we paid the compensation that day. That is what happened. But this major challenge is we are, it's putting us under disadvantage. But we feel that there's no way we can write, a, after writing a letter, it's for you to give you the, all the information of our problems. But for us to come here to come and see you in person, to appeal to you, to see how possible you can intervene on these four areas, including Tegina. I don't have the technical knowledge of some of these things, but the commissioner, I think, he has some of the issues that at hand, he will be able to explain into detail. But what we want is intervention and quick intervention. Our own, if there's anything, it has to do with the bill. But we are so, even transformers, Niger State Government is providing transformers. We have, we have interfaced with uh, ADC2 because of these transformer issues. There was a time we invited even TCN when we have a general meeting and uh, the other service providers we met. But unfortunately, the procedure, the bureaucracy attached to some of this process makes some certain things very difficult. But we now say, because of our own people, we, have, we are passionate for our people. We must have to maybe wake up to see how we can have that uh, existing collaboration to make sure we give our people what they truly deserve as part of our development of democracy. So we are here today to see the MD and to see the management so that if there's a way you can intervene on some of this letter we wrote yesterday. But commissioner can even put uh, more light on some of the issues, particularly on taking an issue. Like the issue of Tegina, uh, we want to have it now that we are here on good authority. Because Tegina and it is environs that is comprising Kagara, Mariga, and some other uh, towns around, usually enjoys minimum of 18 hours power supply, and sometimes 24 hours. But in recent times, it has dropped to as low as four hours sometimes. And uh, the only reason given by AADC is that uh, the installations in Tegina that cannot take more than that four to six hours, that uh, the capacity has been exhausted, that there need to be an upgrade for them to be able to accommodate more power 
that can be distributed among the communities. I don't know whether it is right or it is wrong, but now that we are here, I think we'll clear the, the air. But as it is now, honestly, the people around that area are really, really suffering because the lot shading is not, uh, uh, it's not too, too fair. Because sometimes some places will be out of power for like more than 24 hours or so. So we really don't know what is happening. Uh, like Zingeru, uh, is this a request that uh, a substation sh should be established there because uh, they are suffering. For the past two years, they've not been enjoying power supply. And uh, I did remember that even during our campaigns, as far back as 2014-15, this were some of the major requests presented to us as a government that we should look into when we come on board. Three years down the line, we've not been able to attend to this situation. In fact, last week, we had cause to uh, went there for a state function with His Excellency, the acting governor. Uh, we had to be stopped in Zingiru, right in the middle of the town. That uh, three years down the line, we've not been able to uh, meet up to this uh, request. So also, uh, Mokwa, where he hails from. Already we have uh, the transformer on ground, but we've not been able to buy the panels. Uh, that of Lapai is equally uh, very important to us. Uh, by and large, as a state, we are investing so much in this area, but due to poverty of funds, we feel as a state, uh, we should come to the right place where we should table this request. And uh, we, 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 we are aware, or rather unofficially, that uh, you are in process of uh, upgrading some of your stations. And uh, you have some uh, of these equipment that we are removed from some places. It is our passionate appeal. If uh, you be very, very magnanimous by uh, directing that some of these installations that we are removed from some places, if they can be taken to another state, it will do us a lot of trouble. Uh, uh, MD, that is why we are here this afternoon. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube for more information on the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN.